Hi, I'm Colin Haynes, spinal surgeon at the Virginia Spine Institute. What I wanted to talk to you about today is what is sciatica? This term's thrown out a lot. Oftentimes people say they have a friend who has sciatica or even they personally have sciatica. Well, what is sciatica? Sciatica simply means inflammation of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the big nerve that controls the function in the leg. It's the confluence of all the low back nerves together. And anywhere that nerve can be irritated or inflamed, sciatica can occur. Most commonly, that happens in the low back. There are many different reasons for low back nerve pressure that can result in sciatica, but the ultimate consequences of it can be low back pain, radiating leg pain, numbness or weakness going down the leg, and changing your functionality in your life. Again, many different causes in the low back can cause sciatica. One of the common ones is a low back disc herniation. Sometimes scoliosis can cause this, or sometimes stenosis or the general pressure on the nerves in the lumbar spine can cause sciatica. But the most important thing is that not everyone's sciatica is created equal. While it's a grab bag term that allows us to very easily characterize the type of symptoms you may be having, there are many, many different treatments for sciatica in and of itself. Fortunately, the vast majority of treatments are non-operative. Most patients who come into my office and my partners at the Virginia Spine Institute get better without surgery. 90% of patients who walk into our doors with sciatica get back to their life they love without requiring surgery. Sometimes that requires a slight medication, like an anti-inflammatory medication to relax the irritation. Sometimes it's physical therapy, and sometimes it's actual injections. Occasionally, surgery itself is needed, but typically only when all those non-surgical treatments have failed. Again, while not everyone needs surgery, there are people who do require surgery for it. But there are many, many different treatments with respect to surgery for sciatica. Sometimes it's a microdiscectomy or taking the disc herniation out. Sometimes it's an endoscopic procedure through a tiny, tiny little uh, incision. And sometimes it's minimally invasive fusion procedures. However, if you feel like you may be a candidate for any treatment, be it physical therapy, medication, or sometimes surgery, for your debilitating sciatica and you want to get back to that life you love, please feel free to contact us at the Virginia Spine Institute for a consultation.